Wanna go out on the weekend? weekend. Wanna take time with this feeling? feeling? Maybe we can stay in bed and sleep in? Sleeping. Baby, you know you're all that I'm needing. needing. Oh, let the lighting adjust. Hello everyone, um, for the last video of this week on the channel, um, I basically wanted to do a video where I basically talk about like the creative process behind me, myself and I, um, the writing process, and just like how I came up with it, maybe a little bit of the story behind it and like just give you guys a bit of an insight into it. Just before I get into the video properly, just to let everyone know, I will be doing a live stream tomorrow. Hopefully my community tab is up by the time that I want to do that so that I can just like um, post on there to let everyone know what time I'll be doing the live stream based on what time zone you're in. But um, yeah, let's get into the video of talking about me, myself and I. So I just come out of a breakup and after being out of the breakup, I, I really felt like like kind of how the song describes if you've listened to it if you haven't there'll be a link down in the description but um, I kind of felt like like a similar way to have described in the song I don't really want to go too much into it because I don't want to bring stuff up from the past but anyway around the same sort of time as this which was about about um, March April sort of time of last year I actually saw an animated video on YouTube called The Gift which um, really kind of displayed the sort of same sort of emotions that I was feeling at the time of this breakup. So I was like, right, like all the signs are pointing to me writing a song for this. So then I was just like, right, fuck it, I'm gonna do it. So I hopped on GarageBand where I've been producing my music now for about a year, a year or two maybe. Um, and I started coming up with, with melodies, with the tune. Um, I'd heard a song called Let Go by a guy called Dean Lewis, which is really good, you should definitely listen to it. And in that song, it's got like a really heavy sort of synthy bass which cuts out every time that the snare or clicks or claps come in. So I kind of wanted to, um, I kind of wanted to bring some of that influence in. So I had that heavy bass that you will have heard if you've heard the song. I had that heavy bass coming in and then coming out on every single um, snare hit. And then every time the the bass drum hit again, I had that um, heavy sort of synth coming in again. Gradually, I just, um, I just improved it. I just added to it. I added like, um, I added a bit more of a, um, a bit more of a structure to the song, I suppose. Um, as time went on and then I needed to obviously come up with the melody. Now um, a lot of people have been comparing the melody on Crips video I've seen in the comments to um, to um, Nash. There's a small part of I Hate You I Love You by Nash. It's, it's about two bars of lyrics and the melody of it was just really nice and I was like wow he really hasn't capitalised on this melody. This melody would go perfectly with this song so the whole like I won't act surprised section of it like that that little melody was influenced by I hate you I love you by Nash which is sort of interesting if anyone's wondering and then um, the rest of the song like when I tend to write I normally sit down I normally bang it out in like half an hour it's just because as soon as you get into the process and you really are feeling what you're writing then it just it just flows to be honest with you not gonna lie I'm a bit tipsy when I'm recording this video and tom tomorrow's live stream Maybe a little bit wavy if anyone's interested, but yeah. So yeah, and then I laid down the vocals. Normally how I record things is I'll just plug my Apple headphones. Don't know where they are. Okay, I've lost them. But I plug my Apple headphones into my phone. Ah, oh, wait, they're plugged into my phone. I'm actually a mong. Sick. But yeah, I, I plug in my Apple headphones and then I normally record with that. Have a tiny bit of um, auto-tune just to drag the vocals just perfectly in tune. And then um, normally I can work out the harmonies and stuff quite easily after that. By the way, plans have started being made to make a music video. So if you guys have heard my EP slash album and you want a music video for a specific song, please comment down below what song you'd like to hear a music video for. So yeah, that is the story behind the song. I hope that you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, rate and subscribe to my channel down below if you're new turn the notifications on share this video with your friends go and share me myself and i stream the ep and um yeah i'll see you guys tomorrow for a live stream love you all see you in a bit